Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and my space. For those of you who are new, my name is Raquel. And those of you who are returning, thank you so much for clicking on another one of my videos. I'm glad you came back. Um, this video by the title below is all about the dark night of the soul and the twin flame union. All right. So I'm going to go through key points. Um, you know, in this video, I will put timestamps below and in the description box and the comments. Okay, so let's just hop right into it. Um, can dark night affect a twin flame relationship? Can it? Well, if you think about what the dark night of the soul is, it, if you have looked back to my previous videos, and if you haven't, I will um, put the links in the comments or in the um, description box. But if you look back to my other videos where I explain the dark night, what the dark night basically is, is your true soul identity trying to escape your ego or commonly known as the ego death, right? so that your soul can be free and that you can live to be your authentic self. Well, some of us, when we find our twin flame or we meet our twin flame, you know, we aren't in that space where we are being true to our soul self. We are, you know, still, you know, um, living up to society's norms. We are still trying to please others, to make others like us, and not really letting our soul self shine. So in the case of Dark Knight of the Soul and the Twin Flame relationship, uh, can it happen to that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because we're talking about a soul connection here. And if you both aren't being true to yourselves, then... Um, and you're letting your egos take over, what will essentially happen is one person will go through the dark night and it will trigger or activate the other person. And it's like you're both living in this state of depression and it can just be extremely messy, extremely, extremely messy. So can it affect twin flame relationships? Yes, it can. Because Dark Knight of the Soul, you are essentially trying to step in to your true self. So, it can. All right. The soul connection. I'm going to talk about the soul connection here. Like I said, with the Dark um, Knight of the uh, the dark night of the soul. I was about to say the dark night of the flame. Um, <laughs> but the dark night of the soul, it's like, you know, your soul is being trapped by your ego, right? Like I've mentioned in previous videos, and your soul is trying to escape out of that, that ego, out of that constriction. And um, twin flame relationships, it's like, you know, that person, it's like your souls recognize each other, but you still have that ego covering up the soul. So <laughs> there's still that connection. You will have that happy connection when you first meet. You will just know that you've seen this person before. It's because you're recognizing your soul in that other person, right? And when that initially happens, it's like, yeah, it's all fun. It's all passionate. It's all free for the first, like, I'd say mm, three to six months. Okay. Some people, it might be a little longer, maybe like a year, but whatever the case is, it's like your soul is recognizing their soul. So it's like they, their soul is calling to your soul. Okay, so it's calling your soul up out of your ego. So this triggers, this triggers the dark night. All right. Twin flame can trigger the dark night. All right. Okay. So what happens when this happens? All right. You know, once it's triggered and one twin, one twin is going through it. Okay. Okay. 
So they might be depressed. They may, um, you know, feel like life isn't worth living. And it's not because of their twin flame. It's not, well, and essentially it is because the twin flame triggered it, but it's not the twin flame's fault, the other twin flame's fault. And, um, but the other twin flame will start feeling extremely, extremely guilty for the other one going through this depression. All right. And um, a lot of times this is where the twin flame relationship might break up because one twin cannot handle seeing the other twin in that much pain. So it's like it, it puts like a cord of disconnect or like a wedge. It drives a wedge between the two, the two souls. But so, like I said, some will separate. Others, they might not. They might stick around. But what is essentially happening is that the one, one twin is growing. All right. And once they start going through this and they start almost coming out of it, it's like then the other twin gets activated because this soul is activating the other soul. So essentially this one that was all, um, you know, dark night in the beginning and is starting to grow out of it, um, their soul will call to the other twin flame's soul and the other twin flame soul will then again trigger the dark night. So that one will be depressed, will go through um, just bouts of agony. Like I said, you need to, if you haven't watched um, what dark night of the soul is, um, my other video, it will be linked in the description box below. But so now this, per, now this twin, we'll call this twin A. Okay, so twin A now is in this deep dark depression and this other twin is up there so if they haven't separated yet this is another separation point because this is another um this is another you know stage in it where one might twin a might feel so bad that they're causing so much depression that they're in so much of a depressive state they might actually leave this time because they don't want to um, make their partner feel upset. They don't want to be in that relationship. Now, do some of them stay together? Yes, some of them do. And this is why I feel like some relationships, they say, oh, that might, that's a toxic relationship right there. Well, you know, they're both growing. So it is better. And I will say it is better when you're with your twin flame and you guys are going through this dark night, if you do separate. This is where I say you should separate because um, you will get through it a lot faster if you do. But um, so the pain of the other, you know, it, it puts them in their in their dark night. So this is where I'm getting to the pain of the other. So they're going through all this. They're essentially growing. The other twin, twin B, is like has like probably almost fully emerged from it, right? And like I said, this is where usually the separation is caused. Some people stay, stick with their twin flame the whole time through. But usually when that happens, the relationship ends up toxic. It's very, very bad. Um, they can end up hurting each other really bad. So it usually is best just to separate so that you guys each can have your own soul growth, your own soul um, experience. And then after you guys are fully, fully out of it, then come back together in a union. But the separation I feel is the most important part because if you are trying to get out of a negative situation, if your soul is trying to expand, trying to grow, how is it going to know what it needs to grow into if it's constantly around the negative, dark, depressed one? You know what I mean? So it's kind of like you got to spread your wings to fly a little bit. All right. So can they stay together? Yeah, they can. They can. It might take a long, long time for you guys both to get through it. And I'm talking like decades. I'm talking decades. If you stay together, it can take decades. All right. Um, but 
and you could end up hurting each other really, really bad going through this process. And I know because I have personally went through it. Okay. So, um, do I think you should stay together? No, I don't. But that is all your decision. That is up to you. I'm not telling you what to do. Um, but this is why, like, some people, you know, I'll get comments and they'll be like, my twin flame, da 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 da, da. this person is my twin flame. Well, yes, this person probably is your twin flame, all right, if you have that soul connection, if you guys both have that soul connection, probably is your twin flame. Is it healthy to stay in that relationship when you're going through, um, things that might be negative for you and to you, I don't think so. I think you need to separate, reevaluate, and then come back together. Because I will tell you what, when you separate in a twin flame relationship, oftentimes, a lot of the times, you end up coming back together. It's like you separate for a couple of years and then you come back together. It's like you know, if you are a twin flame with somebody, you will end up coming back together with that person. All right. Um, and I want to talk about the union. All right. Now, the union of these of um, twin flames is a good subject to talk. I should do I should do a video and maybe I will do a video in the future about the twin flame relationship. But I will say that a, a twin flame union is both sided. Both parties have to feel that connection. If you're chasing your, if you're chasing your twin flame and your twin flame, you, who you think your twin flame is, wants no, nothing to do with you, ha doesn't feel the connection, that's not your twin flame. All right? That was a soulmate that was meant to teach you a lesson. And sometimes, sometimes, um, we get soulmate connections confused with twin flame connections. So just make sure that you, you know, are really going within and, and asking yourself, is this the person for me? Is this, do I really have a connection with this person? Before you say, okay, this is my twin flame. But when it involves the dark night, twin flames can trigger each other because you are ultimately supposed to end up in life being true to your authentic soul self. This is why we always see the grandfather that is, you know, very outspoken or the grandmother that just tells it like it is, right? It's because... They are living in their true soul self, all right? And as we go through life, we break down conditioning and learn how to become our true soul self, all righty? So a lot of us, we find, some of us, we find our twin flame when we're still being conditioned, when we still haven't found ourselves. And that twin flame union can cause dark night of the soul. Let me know what you all think in the comments below. If you have any questions, please leave them there. Um, I will probably do a follow-up to all of your questions about the Dark Knight as one of the last videos in this series. I have, I think, two more that I want to cover. Um, they come out on Wednesdays. Um, but I have two more that I want to cover and then I'm going to gather all your questions and then I'm going to answer them and that will be the fifth video. So please, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Until then, thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.